Hello viewers, uh, hope you all are well. Today I will discuss a topic of international economics and uh, basically it is an introductory class of international economics where I shall be dealing with introducing you with the subject matter of international economics. So uh, the main objective of this class is uh, to introduce the learners with the subject matter of international economics and after the end of this lecture the learners or the viewers uh, will be able to understand what is international economics and what are the subject matter of international economics and what are the macroeconomic and macroeconomic aspects of international economics so uh, let us begin with what is international economics international economics is a branch of economics uh, which studies about uh, the economic and financial interdependence among nations it mainly discusses how the goods and services payments, capitals, etc. flow between a nation and the rest of the world. Uh, again, how different policies you know, affect international movement of goods, services, capital, etc. It also deals with how international relations such as political, social, cultural and military relations you know, affect international trade or interdependence among nations. And conversely, how international trade or interdependence among nations affect international relations. The broad subject matters of international economics are international trade theory, international trade policy, balance of payments, foreign exchange markets, and open economy macroeconomics. Let us discuss briefly what these subject matters study. And the international trade theory is, you know, basically describes the basis of international trade. That means on what basis, uh, that, that is why or how international trade takes place among different countries. The trade theory also discusses the gains from international trade. And that means how the different countries, you know, involving trade can earn gains from international trade. Uh, on the other hand, international trade policies explains why the countries doing international trade need you know trade restrictions uh, basically we have to discuss why a country needs protection from international competitions besides the international trade policies discusses how trade restrictions affect you know, domestic as well as world economy uh, tariff quota subsidy etc are some common examples of international trade restrictions then the balance of payments a balance of payments is a you know, important component of study of international economics balance of payments basically you know a systematic record of all economic transaction of a nation with the rest of the world it has in you know, a two main components uh, one is receipt of a nation from foreign countries and another is payment of a nation with foreign countries then we have foreign exchange markets uh, you know it covers exchange rate determinations and the different theories of exchange rate determinations. Open economic macroeconomics, we basically study the procedures of balance of payments adjustment and the relationship between internal and external sector of a economy. There are two aspects of international economics. One is microeconomic aspects and another is macroeconomic aspects. Microeconomic aspects of international economics, you know, describes how international economics can be considered as a branch of microeconomics. Uh, international economics can be considered as a branch of microeconomics because international trade theories and policies consider the individual nations as a single unit. Moreover, the international trade policies deals with the price of individual commodities. Since all nations are considered as a single unit and uh, uh, international economics studies the price of individual commodities, so international economics can be considered as microeconomics. On the other hand, international economics has uh, macroeconomic aspects also, since it deals with balance of payments, you know, and where we study the, about the total receipts and total payments of a nation. Since we consider the total receipts and total payments, so this is a macroeconomic aspect. Moreover, international economics uh, discusses the balance of payment adjustment and other policies that affects macroeconomic variables such as national income, general price level of a nation. 
and this the general price level or in national income these are macroeconomic variables uh, from this point of view uh, we can consider international economics as a branch of macroeconomic study so international economics has experienced a rich development in past two centuries uh, with the great contributions of economists uh, like adam smith david ricardo john stuart mill alfred marshall don menard keynes paul samuelson and paul krugman study of international economics is very essential to understand the current international economic problems and challenges in the next class we will discuss the subject matters of international economics separately and initially we will be dealing with the international trade theories hope you get an idea uh, what does the international economics study thank you for watching this video